Hi, this is Sean with Tri-State Waterworks. Wanted to um, bring to your attention on smart controllers how you can set them up to manipulate how they water based on what we call triggers. And those are triggers are usually set based on the weather. And now that we typically install the HydroWise, we're going to talk about this on HydroWise, other controllers, some will and some won't have these, but HydroWise definitely has this set up. So from your home screen, you'll see on the left-hand side, watering triggers. Now we do set these up to what we call our standard and what we think is appropriate for your system. So these will already be set when you get it, but you can play with them and adjust them. So there's several different things that you can do with these. One is, um, I don't want to water when the temperatures reach a certain low point. So it says, don't water when today's forecast temperature is less than. And there's a slider bar there and you can type that across. So we typically set that up at around 50 degrees. So if it's a 50 degree day, we're not going to water. And then we can also have uh, a water less by a percentage. So you'll see a little box there and you can control that percentage. We set it up at, we're going to water 30% less when today's forecasted temperature is less than 70 degrees. And you can also turn these things, uh, these conditions on and off with that little slider switch. So those are all for water savings, but we also set one up that we're gonna water 50% more when today's forecasted temperature is above 91 degrees and the humidity is below 65%. So the reason we would do that is on a warm day with low humidity, your plants are going to be transpiring a lot of water, so we want to make sure we keep them uh, moist so they don't wilt. Another one's kind of interesting, it's a predictive watering uh, parameter. So we can set it up that it doesn't water when the chance of rain is higher than 90% or 80%. We like to usually keep that in the 90% range. So the controller around midnight will look at that and if tomorrow's weather shows that there's a 90% chance of rain, it's gonna skip watering for that day. Another one we wanna set up is if it's too windy. I don't know if you ever really looked at your sprinkler system on a very windy day, but it's not very efficient. The um, water's being blown all over the place. And you can also set up uh, forecasted temperature, so predictive watering based on the temperature. And again, using the forecasted rainfall to predict a smart watering. So those are some of the things that you can set up. There's one more section below that that looks at a rainfall. And so one is don't water when in the last 24 hours, rainfall is higher than uh, two tenths of an inch. Or don't water when in the last seven days, the rainfall is higher than an inch. So those things can all be set up and can be manipulated to save water. So if you feel like you're getting too much water or maybe it's watering too quickly after it's rained, here's where you could go in and change some of those parameters to dial it in and make your system specific to your site and your location.